fire. Today I'm going to talk about some unfortunate things that led me to fire. Financial independence retire early. I feel like these unfortunate events affected me subconsciously somehow, so I was drawn to the FIRE movement and pursue work optional lifestyle. Why am I sharing these sad events? Why do you care about them? Maybe because it was Halloween and the day of the dead and all, I'm not sure but maybe so, you can think about work-life balance in your life and make sure you know your priorities in your life. I hope it helps you somehow. If this video helped you in any ways, please smash the like button. My best friend in heaven will be happy too. If you are interested in my early retirement life and how I got here, please subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any tips on financial freedom. Train truck suicides. I was born and raised in Japan. I had to take trains for an hour to go to my high school. Tough commute. But it gets worse. I remember the train had to stop because someone jumped from the platform to the incoming train. It happened so many times. The train conductor was strangely honest enough to tell us if the stop was caused by equipment failure or accidents resulting human injury. Thanks for too much information, right? When you read the news, you know some are accidents and some are suicides. I remember thinking, why did they jump? Did they have a family? Why did they do that? Then, why this time of the day? Were they thinking they didn't want to go to work? It made me feel terrible to think about their pain, their family's pain, and the gluesome vision of the head of the train. And I was on a train that hit someone to death. I looked around me, full of business suit men, standing, packed in a small space on the way to work. Do they really like their jobs? Is there anyone else in pain every morning? I was only 16, 17 years old. I was traumatized thinking, working must be painful. Maybe it's difficult to find a job you love. I think I subconsciously started associating work with pain. You and I both know that's not always the case. I don't think work has to be painful, but I just thought maybe this was somehow related to my decisions to leave traditional workforce and seek more freedom. Best friend's death. My best friend from high school passed away in her early 20s due to cancer. It happened so fast and it was just so unfortunate. Right after she submitted paperwork to get married, she found out that she had a stomach cancer. She had to have her entire stomach removed. She lost weight because of that, but looked beautiful in her wedding dress at the wedding reception. She read her letter in front of everyone at the reception. She said, My dream is to spend a long happy life and get old with my husband. I will continue to fight. A few months later, before Christmas, she passed away. I didn't know how a beautiful, innocent life could end like that. One moment we were laughing our hearts out, then she was gone. Years later, my husband's best friend from high school passed away. We were devastated. What were the chances we both lost our best friends from high school? We couldn't help but thinking, every day is a precious gift. We want to make sure that each day counts. What I want you to take away from this video is that life is too short for you to feel pain. Live your life to the fullest every day. If there is anything you want to do, go for it. Don't let anything stop you from doing what you want to do. If you want to improve your money situations, I have a plenty of videos that can help you with that. If this video helped you in any ways, please smash the like button. Don't forget to leave comments below and let me know what you think. 
Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.